What is up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting and I know I said I probably wouldn't do these types of videos anymore but I have a huge Ray Dunn Christmas collection that I just feel like people might want to see and I like to show it off. I'm really proud of it. I've collected it over the last two or three years um, and while I'm not actively searching for Ray Dunn anymore, my Ray Dunn Christmas collection is my most prized Ray Dunn items that I have so I was just dying to show them with you guys but if you are new here, my name is Katie. I live in Orlando, Florida and I make a lot of like shop with me videos. I do home decor videos and those things like that. I am moving in the beginning of the year so there'll be a lot more home decor videos coming up and also like cleaning motivation and I am just so so excited so if you like Ray Dunn videos shop with me cleaning videos those sorts of things you should definitely hit the subscribe button and while you're down there make sure you give this video a big thumbs up like I was saying I have a lot of Ray Dunn Christmas items so I'm gonna kind of break it up into like canisters mugs plates and then other like miscellaneous types of Christmas items yes it is truly that bad. That's how much I have. Probably like 150 pounds of Ray Dunn Christmas items and I've had to move it several times, but that is another story for another day. I'm not gonna keep blabbing on because I know what you guys came here for. So we are gonna start off with a bang and I'm gonna show you all of my Ray Dunn Christmas canisters. Okay, so the first one I wanna show you guys was actually like weirdly hard for me to find. I mean, they are all extremely hard to find and I definitely recognize that. If it wasn't for my mom and my amazing YouTube subscribers, I probably wouldn't have a lot of this. I have scored a couple times on my own but I don't have a lot of luck and I also have a lot of hunting anxiety which probably sounds so crazy. I just feel like people just get so aggressive about this stuff and like I just am not a confrontational person so I do get a lot of hunting anxiety but this one was particularly hard for me to find. I didn't get my hands on it the first year I was collecting Ray Dunn but I did get my hands on it the second time and that is the gingerbread canister. I love this one. Um, I know a lot of people do like cocoa bars and things like that, but I also like to do like a whole cookie setup on my countertop because it's just so perfect for the kitchen. So the first one is the gingerbread canister. And back when I got this, it was $19.99, which I think maybe the Christmas canisters are still the same price, but honestly, it kind of stinks, but the prices go up every single year, which I guess makes sense because it just gets more popular. So. That's how the supply and demand works, I guess. Keeping with the white Christmas canisters and then we'll go into the red, I have the reindeer snacks canister. I love this one too. It's kind of interesting how the canisters from Home Goods can look different from the Ray Dunn canisters at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Um, so I don't know, this one came from TJ Maxx and I really like the style of this one. It's more of like the skinny one. Um, if you've been collecting Ray Dunn for a long time, you know that she's done lots of different styles of all of her basics and her Christmas decor. So some of them are the more pudgy, like the gingerbread one. And then this is the only one I have besides for a little one that I have that is this like tall with like the thin lid. And I really, really, really like this style. And I just like how Reindeer Snacks just like takes over the entire front of it. And this is definitely a fave. The next one is such a little cutie. It is the baby cocoa canister. This one is really cute and also really really hard to find um, I can't remember if I found this for myself or if somebody sent it to me graciously if it was my mom or one of my subscribers but this is such a little cutie and perfect for any cocoa bar okay cruising right into red canister territory is the ho 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 canister this canister is so pretty all the red ones are so so pretty I just love like all the Christmas stuff but the red ones are just so striking I have four red canisters, I believe, and they are from a couple different stores, so I've noticed that the shade of them is a little bit different um, depending on what store you get it from and also the year. I had a particular canister from 2018 and then got it again in 2019, and it was a totally different color and the letters were worded and like spaced differently. Um, so it's super interesting to see how she changes her stuff up every year, but the first red canister is my Ho 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 canister. The next one is the Santa's Cookie canister. I was lucky enough to find this one on my own. I ended up at a Ray Dunn store opening, which like I said, I really don't do because I get a lot of anxiety, hunting anxiety. And I got there early not knowing that it wasn't open yet because I think I had dropped Aurora off at the groomers or something and I just decided to stay out. And I was like, oh, I'll go over to 
home goods and just peruse or go to Target. I love going to Target early in the morning when there's like not a lot of other people there. And I found myself at an opening on a day when they got a truck. And I had said to them, oh, you don't have to worry. Like I'm not here for Ray Dunn. And then I found all this stuff. So I did cash in <laughs> on my portion of the opening crew. And this was a canister I didn't have before. So I was super excited because I don't have a lot of great luck when it comes to Ray Dunn hunting. And so this was definitely like the luckiest day I ever had. I think I got like three canisters and like all this other really cool stuff. And um, another big tip I have to you guys is not to upsell, first of all. I've never upsold any of my Ray Dunn. I always try to sell it for the same price with maybe like a $5 extra tacked onto it. Um, a lot of our Facebook groups here are just retail Facebook groups, so you're not allowed to like jack up the price, which I really love. I've never sold anything on like Mercari or Poshmark or anything. Um, and I try to just mostly trade local and not sell any of my stuff But a tip that I have for you guys is if you find something and don't take all of everything That's rude too. like that is not proper rate done etiquette But if you find something like this and there's a lot like let's say there's six and there's only two of you at opening If you want to take a second one You could always try to trade it for something else that you want like for another red canister um, But do try to be nice to fellow done buddies and don't clear the shelves and don't upsell it honestly just sucks the fun out of it It's like mostly the reason that I don't even go to the stores anymore because I honestly just don't want to deal with other Dunn hunters, which is sad because I love Ray Dunn. This next one I'm really excited to show you. I got this as a Christmas present last year. This was the only red canister I wasn't able to get my hands on and it is the red Merry Christmas canister. This canister is just my pride and joy. I love this one so much. It is just the essence of Christmas. It says Merry Christmas. It's red. It's beautiful. I love it so much and my mom got it for me for Christmas last year because she knew it was the only one that I didn't have yet and I was super thankful I absolutely love this one I know that someday I'm gonna scale down my Ray Dunn Christmas selection maybe even this year but this is one that I'm definitely going to hold on to the last red Christmas canister and last Ray Dunn Christmas canister that I want to show you guys is my Jingle Bells canister if you have been watching me for a long time then you'll have already heard this story before but I am from Medford Massachusetts and Jingle Bells was written in my hometown so when I ever saw this canister come out in 2018, I needed it like i needed it i loved ray dunn i absolutely love christmas i also love the song jingle bells because it just reminds me of my hometown fun fact at one point my town actually held the guinness book of world records for most people christmas caroling at one time and i was there and i got to be a part of it thought it was pretty cool but i don't think we hold the record anymore but anyways this canister i absolutely needed it and my mom just so happened to find one in the store it was the only one sitting there i think at a tj maxx and she was able to buy it and mail it to me which is always scary to mail ray done like it could just break so easily you just can't really trust what happens to the box once it leaves your hands but luckily it made it here safe and this is my red jingle bells canister that i love so much definitely another one that i will keep forever so that is all the canisters next we're gonna do like other big miscellaneous christmas items that i don't really know like what category to put them into so like teapots utensil holders that sort of thing so that is going to be the next one and the first thing i'm going to show you is my ho 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 cookie dough roller which or i guess it's just a rolling pin it's not necessarily for cookie dough but it goes really well with my little cookie setup that i love to do and i love this i haven't even taken the tag off of the back yet but i also got this for christmas i think two years ago and i absolutely love it i think my mom stuck it in my stocking she's <laughs> she's so funny okay next we have the eggnog canister this was like one of those pieces that when i saw it i had to have it growing up my mom always made homemade eggnog i love homemade eggnog i know that it's like a very hit or miss thing like you either love it or you don't and maybe you've only had the one from the store or like your family would make it but with alcohol but my mom would always make eggnog she still does and i absolutely love it it's basically just eggs like egg whites and egg yolks with sugar heavy whipping cream and a bunch of cinnamon and it's just so so good so when i saw the eggnog pitcher i just had to have it for when i make my own eggnog and i can just pour it right out of my pitcher i absolutely love this so this was one thing i had to have and a little tip for you guys too if you're not going to be using this like to actually pour a drink you can also put some greens in it that's what i do too like i'll do like cranberry sprigs or something else and i'll use it functionally for that or at christmas time like if you get flowers you could always use this as a vase i do that a lot with my pitchers that i have from ray dunn all right next up on awkward big items is my Merry Christmas utensil holder. This is like the easiest thing to switch out because I just take all my stuff out of my current utensil holder that's Ray done and just stick everything in here. And then I'll also stick like fake poinsettias or like fake flowers in it too because I just like to jazz it up. I like to fill it out more. 
but yes this is the next thing it's just my little Merry Christmas utensil holder and I just I love this and it's very functional so I like that too okay the last two things are teapots and I know this is a hot commodity this is my hot cocoa teapot it's just this old little pitcher I think I got this last year I think I might have traded for this but I can't remember what I traded it for but I absolutely love this I know this is a really really popular item and I was really really happy that I could get my hands on it it is one of those ones that could just so easily break because of like the way that the handle is so I'm really happy to have this as part of my collection and it's just couldn't be more perfect for a cocoa bar. I about died when I saw this last year. I actually traded one of those extra canisters that I found last year for this specific item. I actually said in a video, I'm gonna go back and find the clip and put the date here, that if she came out with Christmas Ray done, it would just, I would die happy. And then it happened. Praying this year, so like Ray Dunn had the red stuff last year and like the last few years. I'm praying this year that she also has like green canisters. And I couldn't even believe it. I felt like I was Raven, like from that so Raven, and I predicted the future. So when I ever saw this green Merry Christmas teapot, I just had to have it. And so I traded, I think a red like Santa's cookie canister or something for this teapot, and I've never regretted it for not even one second. I love all the green rake done Christmas stuff because green is one of my absolute favorite colors, and I just can't wait to use this with my new decor because like I said, I'm trying to do more muted colors with like greens and stuff, so this will just be so perfect, and I just, I just love you so much. Okay, I don't really know if this counts. It's backwards. <laughs> I don't really know if this counts as Christmas, but this was another item that I absolutely had to have. I met someone like 30 minutes away to trade for it because it's just an item that was super hard for me to find in my area and I wanted to make sure that I had it. It is the Oh Good Gravy gravy mug. I'm absolutely in love with gravy and I'm really excited this year because now I eat meat again because I was vegetarian for five years and now I'm not anymore. So I get to have delicious gravy on my delicious turkey meal that I cannot wait to make in like four weeks. I'm seriously looking forward to that day. My goal was to be eating turkey by Thanksgiving and it's October. So I think I'm doing a pretty good job because I've already had turkey and chicken and stuff like that. So my oh good gravy thing, it's definitely holiday. So that's why I included it. Okay, so the next category is going to be plates and bowls. And I surprisingly have a lot of stuff in this specific category that I've created. So I guess I shouldn't waste any time. The first thing I'm gonna grab is this Santa Paws dog bowl. And I absolutely love this. I don't change out their food bowls. I just do this one down on the ground as their little dog bowl. So that's just a fun little thing for them. I like to get them involved. They're my babies. Next up is a random thing, but it counts as a plate. It is a cheese plate, green Merry Christmas, and it comes with a little knife. I've never used this yet. I might actually go ahead and sell this or offer to trade it because I don't really see myself using it. We did just get a brand new charcuterie board and I don't know, it just seems so small and I have already so many Ray Dunn things that say Merry Christmas on them. So I just don't think that I need this but I do have this so I wanted to show it to you guys. The next thing is a big Merry Christmas plate. I kind of just use this decoratively. I like to try to have a lot of things that are like tall like a mixture of heights so I really really love this red Merry Christmas plate. It's also a really nice serving plate as well so I wanted to get this and this was only $5.99 at the time. I don't know how much plates go for these days because like I said I'm out of the game but this was only $5.99. I feel like it's a good deal and it's really good to pick up stuff like this just to use decoratively. I don't have the whole set or anything but I love this one. The next are more plates. These are red cheer plates. These are like mini appetizer plates and they're perfect to use for a tablescape. Although I don't think I'm gonna be doing a red tablescape this year so I don't know if I'm gonna be getting use out of these or if I'm gonna offload these too. But I also have these and I just love them. I have four of them. I have them as a set because my dining room table currently holds four and this is just perfect for that. Next up are the oval plates. These are great for tablescapes too but I actually have ones that say all different things. This one says jingle. I think they all four say different stuff. Deck the halls, fa la la, and then naughty and nice. And these are kind of big and awkward to hold up. <laughs> Where's the words? Where's the words? <laughs> what does this even say? This mixing bowl says believe. Why am I holding these so awkwardly? And then this one says gingerbread. So these are absolutely perfect for the cookie setup. I don't have a KitchenAid mixer, but if I did, it'd be perfect because I could like set this as the bowl under the KitchenAid mixer and that would be really cute. But I don't have a KitchenAid mixer, so an idea for people that do have them, that would be really, really cute. Then the next little plate type thing is my 
jingle spoon rest i really really like this i don't know i want them to but i don't think that they have come out with like colored ones like red ceramic or green ceramic maybe this year maybe i could predict the future again but that would be really cute but this is the one i have right now and it's another super easy thing like the utensil holder it's really easy to switch out and it's christmasy next up are three little mini bowls that say believe ho 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 and fa la la i like to just prop these up and put little ornaments in them like mini ornaments or whatever that looks Super, super cute. So that's what I like to do with them. But you can also do like fake snow or honestly whatever you want. It would be really cute. So I just like to stack these up and they're red on the inside. I don't know if these really count as bowls, but there's something that you put stuff in. So I have the little salt and pepper. They're red. And then they have the little like quilting detail on the side. I haven't used these yet, but these are really cute. You could do it as a gift. It has a little gift tag on the top that says to and from. And I have not used these yet, but also would work really well for like a little cookie display or just to add a little pizzazz to your tablescape different little salt and pepper. I know Brian really wants the little turkey ones for Thanksgiving because he's like, Thanksgiving decor is a real thing and I don't think it is. And then he refers back to the little turkey salt and pepper shakers as his proof that there's Thanksgiving decor. The next one is definitely one of my favorites. They are the green measuring cups. I don't know that necessarily these are Christmas because they don't have anything Christmassy on them, but there's all the different sizes and I absolutely love them. They're just so perfect for Christmas. And I don't know, I just love the green Ray Dunn stuff. It's definitely my favorite color of stuff that she's ever, ever done. So I was really happy that I got these. This next thing technically isn't Ray Dunn, um, but it goes really well with Ray Dunn. And they're also measuring cups and they all just say different things. The first one says Christmas calories don't count. And then the little one says yum and they all just have different messages on them and i think i got these off zoo lily um they were really popular like two years ago like everyone was ordering them to go with their ray done because i don't think that she was doing really cute measuring cups at the time um, but i really love these and these are really big too and just go really well on my hobby lobby shelf like the bowls, I like to prop them up with like paper or paper towels so that you can read what each one says, all the messages, and they're just like stacked looking, and I just love doing that. So another little tip for you guys. You just gotta like build up the height. You gotta manipulate it. <laughs> okay, sorry if the lighting or the angle changed. My battery died. They just don't last as long as I need them to to film these videos. Anyways, the next thing I wanted to show you guys are little naughty and nice creamer and sugar set. Perfect for a little Hobby Lobby shelf or any sort of like cocoa, anything that you want to do. I have randomly like a little tie that I got off of like probably the packaging of another Christmas item and decided to just tie it on here um, because I don't know, I feel like these are a little bit plain. I know they sell like red ones and they have had all different ones since I got these ones a long time ago, but I like to just tie little ribbons on my stuff. I think in another thing, yeah, right here. I have this little like plaid ribbon that I'll tie on like my birdhouse to make a bow or just on something if I feel like it just looks like too plain because sometimes I feel like the white ceramic stuff just looks a little bit too plain when everything else is so heavily decorated. Okay, I'm going to show you three miscellaneous items before we end off with my Christmas mugs. I have like 10 to show you, but just to go off of some little miscellaneous items, I have these little candles. One says Jingle Bells and the other one is green and says Merry Christmas. Why does all the green stuff say Merry Christmas? Could they not think of anything else? Now that I'm holding it all up in one video, I'm just noticing that all of the green stuff says Merry Christmas. But yes, two candles. They've both never been lit. They don't really smell that much. It says that this one is Christmas tree scented and then this one is smoked burnt. But I think after sitting in a cabinet for like a year, <laughs> they don't really smell that much. The last miscellaneous item are ornaments. I have not ever used these or put them on my tree. They don't really go with the vibe of my tree. I think that maybe my mom sent them to me after she found them. Um, so I'm probably gonna end up like offloading these two or trading them or selling them. Um, but just little dog ornaments. I think you could honestly at this point do a whole tree with just Ray Dunn um, ornaments. She comes out with so many more ornaments these days. And they are really, really cute. It's just not the vibe. All right, we've made it to the last category. I'm gonna show you all of my Christmas mugs, starting with Mr. and Mrs. Claus. You know, this is exciting now. I almost, I tried to get rid of these last year, but now I have a Mr. Claus who's laying on the floor right here waiting for me to be done. But I almost got rid of these and I'm glad that I didn't because now me and Brian can use them, but they're just cute little Mr. and Mrs. Claus mugs. They're not colored on the inside or anything, but I just love Santa. Brian, why can't you be Santa? Brian? Are you Santa? You want me to answer? Yeah. Oh. I am going to be Santa for you this year. You're going to be Santa for me? Uh-huh. 
I can't wait to see. The next two are both cocoa mugs. This one it has red writing that I feel like you can't really tell that much. The letters are super, super skinny. Um, this one is hot cocoa. It's red on the inside, and then this one is just the black cocoa one, so it's more plain. I actually have a couple of these um, that I have in like my everyday rotation, and then this one was tucked away with my Christmas stuff. So I use these specifically to decorate. They literally have glitter on the inside. That's how you know that they're for decoration and not actually for use. I actually use all Ray Dunn stuff as my regular homeware. I have the plates, pasta bowls, regular bowls, and the mugs, and that's what we use as my regular like dishware, and they're super durable. I love them. So this one, I guess, was just for decorating. It like literally has glitter on the inside. The next mug was actually sent to me by a subscriber, and I love this one. It's peppermint mocha. So cute. As you guys know, I love peppermint in my coffee, so this was a mug. I was super excited to get mugs and all the other Ray Dunn go really quick, so it was just not one that I was lucky enough to find so I was super lucky that someone sent it to me but yeah peppermint mocha how cute is that this one is red on the inside and I have another one that's red on the inside that says tis the season so this one is just red on the inside too and the letters are really thick it's so interesting like I said like depending on which store you get it from great example this one is from Marshall's and the letters are super thick and then this one is from TJ Maxx and you can like hardly read what it says it's so thin it literally could not be any thinner so it's a great example of how depending on what store you buy your Ray Dunn from it's honestly different so it's probably manufactured in different factories because we all know Ray Dunn is not spinning pottery anymore for TJ Maxx it's all mass produced so example or exhibit A. My last white mug is just a North Pole mug. I love this one. I wish that it was colored like blue or something, but she'll probably come out with something crazy like that this year. So just a white North Pole mug. Sometimes that's where I wish I lived if it was hot <laughs> or if it really was like they show it in the movies, like the Santa Claus. I would definitely want to live there. Next up is the only green mug I have. It is the Fala La mug. I think last year only two green mugs came out. So one that said Fala La and then another one that said Believe. But I got my hands on the Fala La mug and I just love the green stuff. The shade of it is so pretty. I absolutely love it. So I'm really glad that I have this one. It's just a great mix in with all the other stuff. It was Green Ray Dunn was a smart move. I see what you did there. First up for the red mugs is Santa's Helper. Absolutely love this one. It's just really cute and the letters are nice and thick. You can clearly read what it says and this mug is just perfect and I love it. And I already took the sticker off of the bottom. I think I might have used this one. Some of them I have used. This one doesn't have glitter on the inside so that's a good indicator that I probably drink something out of it. But yes, Santa's Helper. The next one is just a red Santa mug. Goes perfect with Santa's Helper and just super easy to decorate with. Add to a cocoa bar, red mug, Santa. You just picture him. You could always put milk in this if you want for your like milk and cookies for your kids. You could leave out a Ray Dunn mug that says Santa, a red one, and maybe Santa will drink out of Ray Dunn. I wonder how many houses Santa drinks out of where it's served in Ray Dunn. I wonder. Leave a comment below if you serve on Ray Dunn for Santa's cookies. Okay, and then the very last item I have to show you guys is a Red Merry Christmas mug. The pinnacle of Christmas, just like I said about the Red Merry Christmas canister. Absolutely love this mug, super happy to have it. And then honestly, like depending on where you get it from, just like before, the letter spacing is different, but this one is just totally perfect. I know people will be like, Santa's cookies from this store is better than Santa's cookies from that store. But I feel like honestly, if you find any of this, you're super lucky. But yes, this is the last thing is my red Merry Christmas mug. Definitely the perfect item to show as my very last item. Oh, okay, I am out of breath. That is it. That is my entire Ray Dunn Christmas collection. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see how I decorate this stuff, definitely make sure that you're subscribed to my channel because decorate videos are coming really, really soon. So you definitely want to make sure that you are subscribed and a part of the fam. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for everyone who has already subscribed. I'm well on my way to all my YouTube goals and I couldn't do it without you guys. So I just wanted to make sure that I said thank you. But that is going to be it for me and I will see you guys next time. Bye!